Hey guys, welcome to Motor Rides. This is Vipul and what you see right here is the Hop Electric Oxo. Uh, this is a new electric motorcycle and will compete against the Urban Roar, the Pure EV E-Trist and also the Revolt uh, e electric motorcycle that we already have on sale. And I'm going to just quickly give you a quick walk around of what the motorcycle looks like and what are its features. Let's start with the front. You get right here. You get a halogen headlamp. The turn indicators are LED. However, the headlamp is halogen. Uh, you get these front forks right here and alloys with a 240 mm disc. If you come to the side, you have these nice tank shrouds with the OXO branding and everything right here is fabric so uh, nothing metallic here and that's because this is not a tank this is the housing for the battery now speaking about this battery this is a 3.75 kilowatt hour battery and has a claimed range of 150 kilometers now this is the true range and the uh, battery can be charged from 0 to 80 in just 4 to 5 hours and the charging socket is on the other side I'll show it to you when I get on the other side right here you have the rider foot pack no clutch and I'm sorry no no gear levers right here here you have the rider foot packs and a side pannier this is to carry your charger and the good thing is that this is made of fabric so when the charger is placed inside and the uh, motorcycle bumps up and down it won't make any sound at the rear you get a chunky rear wheel now this is this this is a bldc hub motor and it has a 220 mm disc brake attached to it uh, you get alloys here tubeless tires and the braking uh, it does not get abs it does get eabs which is not anti-lock braking but it is called electronic assisted braking system and you also get the combi brake system on the disc brakes at the rear you have led turn indicators and a led tail light as well uh, nice grab handles for the pillion rider uh, this side it's uh, pretty clean so there is no chain there's no belt drive uh, the motor is powering the the rear wheel directly now this is a high torque motor the peak torque here is 200 newton meters you get a main stand and a side stand as well and here you have the slot for charging and this right here is sealed shut just aesthetic uh, cannot be used uh, the seat it's nice and scooped up for the rider and you can see it's very long so that you can get into a comfortable riding position also for the pillion you have a nice wide seat grab handles to hold on to and the seat height for reference is 780 mm and the ground clearance is 180 mm which is really really good for a commuter motorcycle now let's come to the handlebar and the instrument console now right here you have the controls for the headlamps uh, turn indicators and the horn you have the side mirrors uh, they offer a decent view of the rear uh, the switch gear quality looks decent feels nice and this right here is the key you get a flip key uh, which is really rare on motorcycles and you get central locking as well so yeah you can just switch this in and you get a slight animation and all the information uh, that you need so right here you have the battery state, state of charge the speed uh, the gear position so this F means it's going to go front not because it has a reverse mode as also and uh, you have the battery heat indicator right here so if it goes up too high you can just stop for a while let the battery cool down and then begin your journey and here you have the range here you have the odometer uh, press P to start and uh, you here you have the clock you'll have all the telltale signs right here on top and you also get turn by turn navigation on the screen <coughs> on the right hand side 
uh, you have the modes, uh, you have the eco, power and sport, uh, three modes in the OXO. The OXO X also gets a turbo mode and here you have the controls for the headlamps uh, P so this is in park mode right now once you press P again and then you can start here you have the button for activating the reverse mode once you press this and turn the accelerator the bike will go in reverse so that you can you know get out of tight, tight spaces uh, really really easily now talking about uh, specs and performance the top speed on the XO is uh, 90 kilometers per hour and the XO X will be 95 kilometers per hour range will be uh, same on both the motorcycles of 150 uh, kilometers um, that's in the eco mode uh, in the power mode you can get up to 100 kilometers and in the sport mode you can get up to 70 kilometers and uh, the turbo mode that is on the XO X uh, you can get up to 60 kilometers of range now the battery like I said is 3.75 uh, kilowatt hour and the peak power on the XO is 5.2 kilowatt while on the XO X it's 6.3 kilowatt uh, the torque is 200 mm so uh, uh, Newton meters so you will get outright acceleration and the claimed acceleration is 0 to 40 in just four seconds which is really really nice for a city commuter motorcycle and a uh, major differences between the OXO and the OXO X is definitely the mode that uh, the turbo mode that you get besides that you also get 4G connectivity you get uh, GPS and uh, you also get the turn by turn navigation and all those features only with the OXO X <coughs> The OXO X also gets you 4 years and unlimited kilometers of warranty while the OXO will get you 4 years and uh, 50,000 kilometers of warranty for the battery. Overall the motorcycle has a 3 year warranty. The motor, charger and controller all get a 3 year warranty. Uh, besides that there is also a mobile app uh, which can be used with this motorcycle and it comes only with the OXO X. You won't be able to use the mobile app with the OXO. Um, the OXO will come in red and blue colors while the OXO X you will get in green and gray. Now um, prices, so the OXO uh, which is the base variant, the entry level variant is 1,24,999 um, rupees. This is pre-subsidy and the OXO X will cost you 15,000 more which is 1,39,999 rupees. So this was the all new Hop OXO electric motorcycle for you. Let us know what you think about this motorcycle. We haven't ridden it so we don't uh, know what the performance is like, what the claimed uh, range is like and all that information will be coming soon when we get to ride to motorcycle. So stay tuned to Motorride, subscribe if you haven't already and press that bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload our next video. This is Vipul signing off. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, rev hard, rev free and ride safe.